have this idea. I have lots of ideas, and I'm sure somebody's already come up with this, and I'm sure there's probably a better way of doing it. But if you live on a river, and there's water flowing this direction, and you were to take some sort of bucket system that had a large bucket here so that the water would be caught and you know it's going around there's a bucket here and there's buckets on each one of these arms so as it's going around it's catching the water and um, it's just leaving it in the water this this whole thing here is in the water alright so then this turning thing is actually used to drive some sort of belt that um, just change this to black. This is used to drive some sort of belt that connects to another belt that runs this direction. And you have this connect up to another smaller bucket system on some kind of slope. So there's this is just imagine this is in the air. It's something like this and you've got a bucket that goes around but this is a smaller bucket this is also sitting on the water so let's just say that the river comes around this way oops say that the river is coming around this way this thing's sitting on the on the water uh just like this is so this is this one here is upstream from this one and this belt then here is used to drive another belt here this thing is lifting buckets of water this thing here is lifting buckets of water out and it's basically then dumping that water into whatever system you would want to use to generate electricity um, you know if you had a large water basin the, the key is this bucket here has to be bigger than this bucket or there have to be more buckets here because the weight of this here has to be more than the I'll just give these numbers one <laughs> two and then three is going to be over here so the weight of number one is going to have to be greater than the weight of number two and then that system though could dump water into some kind of storage unit or some kind of uh, you know like a uh, it's, I forget what these things are called but it's a, a round um, basin basically that creates a whirlpool inside of it and there's a turbine in the middle basically that the water goes down into electricity is generated here and then the water could be kept uh, at the bottom you could either use it to water crops and water fields or whatever and make things grow um, this is green representing making things grow or you could just return the water back downstream just right back to the stream and you'd actually create a device that was just using the force of the water to both create electricity here at step number three and return the water back either to be used for watering plants let's call that number four or return it right back to the stream let's call that number five uh, for a very simple system or a machine that would both generate electricity and water crops so it seems like we could be doing this kind of thing all over the world and maybe we are and maybe I just don't know about it I mean I don't think this is a revolutionary idea it just seems like this would be a simple thing that pretty much anybody could set up uh, in a relatively simple way anybody who's got a river running anywhere so just an idea quick thought uh, I don't know if it's it's probably not new or revolutionary or anything and I'm sorry for my drawing skills but in any case um, if you get something out of this, if you'll comment on it, I just like to draw little simple designs and simple thoughts that I have about how things can work. And if this benefits you in any way, please do post a comment. Thank you very much.